popular Nollywood actor in Lege Miami is in the news again as he called out Pastor Adibuye, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ROCCG. Taking to his verified Instagram page, Lege Miami cries out as he disclosed that some of the members of the of Pastor Adibuye Church cannot afford to pay the school fees of the church university. According to the actor, the church has a private university called Redeemers University and most of the church members' children attending the university cannot afford the school fees. Lege Miami, the self-acclaimed advocate for youth, said that one of the students of the university who is a church member came for assistance as regards school fees payments. Speaking on the hike in the price of school fees, Lege Miami tells Pastor Adebuye and other Nigerian pastors who have private universities to use the tight, tight paid by the parents to maintain the school, stressing that this would make life easier for the students who cannot afford the school fees. He added Pastor Adebuye should also stop any staff who is working in the church and still collecting salary, adding that they should go home if they cannot work for free in the house of God. In his words, Pastor Adibuye must uh, most of your church, according to what he said, most of your church members cannot afford your church university school fees, and it was the appearance, tithes, and offerings you are you all used to build your university. Okay. Uh, does it mean the university belongs to Pastor Adibuye from his personal accounts? I don't know. That uh, his church, he said, is his university. His university, of course, that's what a. Uh, uh, people will interpret it to be, but uh, saying that uh, those who are working, the people must work now. Nah. It's not as if they are going to go to the school for free, but at least they should pay, you know, uh, uh, a little amount of money that uh, they will be using to run the school. Because we all know that uh, most of all these are uh, the likes of them. Uh, all these, uh, what is it called? All these uh, Orthodox churches, all these Anglican churches, and uh, the rest, the Orthodox churches, they have their own schools, but even before you can get in there, you know, it has to be on merits. You know, you have to do very well. They have their standard, but they pay little amounts of money. Which other denomination? Members of other denominations, they go there as well. So, they still need money. I was asking somebody that, oh, when people talk about it, oh, you built university and this and that, and your members cannot afford, does it mean everybody will just go to the school for free? And, uh, you know, we got to understand that. No, they won't go to the school for free, but it has to be well subsidized. It has to, you know, be competing with the government school. Because in the first place, we have people who have even used their personal money to do charity. We call it charity. They do charity and they subsidize for people. But when it comes to this kind of a thing, this, like uh, the legacy, of course, it's tight and offering just to be able to help the society. When you talk about the tight, that is what uh, most of these pastors do not want to hear. Past, uh, the tight is for food. Food. You know, they take this uh, Malachi 3, 10 or so, they take it out of context. It, context. it came from somewhere, and it, before it arrived to that place, there's a particular place also where this old start, uh, this uh, tithe uh, starts from. They will tell you that, uh, oh, uh, Abraham paid a uh, tithe to uh, Messi, uh, he paid tithe to, uh, I've forgotten the name, Messi, Messi, or something like that. Uh, can tell us in the, remind us in the comment section. And the tithe was paid once. And um, in Deuteronomy 22, uh, 14, 22 to the, to the end, the, this is, even in Malachi, he said, bring all your tithes into the house, so, into the house of God, so that there will be food, there will be meat, and all of you, you will eat the meat. In Deuteronomy 14, 22 to the end, the, the, the Bible told us how to pay tithes, if you want to really pay tithes. And the question I'm always asking, if I'm um, asking, it's not that say, oh, there's so that there will be bring all your tithes so that there will be microphone, so that there will be chair. So that, it's a different thing to to sow for God or to to how will I put it to contribute, you know, to do the things of God. You can you can still contribute. That does not mean you cannot contribute. But the issue of time is for food. It's just for food, not for whatever. You can times it the way you want to times it. Why is it that that Deuteronomy 14, they don't want to they don't want to go there, they don't want to talk about it, but they are taking Malachi out of context. These are the need that are in the church. Even if they want to even be useful, people can still contribute, use offering. But when it comes to time, so that there will be food, there will be meat. In that uh, Deuteronomy 14 uh, that I talked about, 22 
to the end it talks about that even if you think that where you want to take the this thing the the place of god or the house of god that you want to take the title if it's too far you will sell it once you sell it you will take the money when you get there you will see by the full stop why the bible or god in, 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 emphasize that you must see buy that food so that everybody will eat everybody you yourself and other people you will do merriment and that is what we they call this a love feast so if people wants to contribute money as offering as a buildings and whatever you can still do that you can still do that this issue uh, area of title the pastors they cannot they can't win it it is in the bible we're talking about bible we're not talking about what somebody is telling us uh try to use your head knowledge is there but that does not mean that you cannot say you cannot contribute to the things of god but that is aside but we have seen all this uh Agrican, we have seen methodists we have seen all of those people when they they they, they, they built missionary schools that if all these pentecostal uh pastors they went to the, those schools still now we still have uh, some redeemed members who still go to all these uh, Anglican churches all these catholic churches that that uh, established schools and you see that uh, they pay you know next to nothing that is what uh, this man is talking about and the reason why he's talking is that why can you remain redeem member because i don't know whether this a uh, legge whether he's a christian i don't know that they came somebody came to him to to get to help him with money and and i saw the video where they was talking about it that i did he himself you see praying to god that god should help him not that he's so brilliant that that was when he said ah, you go to redeem so your parents are there you people contribute money to this that is what uh, you know ordinarily somebody will say somebody will not say that uh, hey, does it mean that uh, they, they they are going to be going to the school for free are they not going to pay whatever that is why the church is there people are still contributing on a daily basis to fund the church nobody is saying that they should not charge but it shouldn't be as expensive as the other private uh, private schools out there you might not agree with this guy well but the only thing i don't agree with him is that uh, oh those who are working there so who are the people that will not uh, be lecturing there or do you think uh, the school is going to be a, a, a part-time thing it's not going to be a part-time thing now because it's going to be run like a proper school so those who are working there they're not going to be paid they will be paid it's part of the the expenses of you know running the school on uh, on a daily basis so they still need money the people the students will still pay amounts of money that is not going to be too uh difficult nobody's saying that they go to school for free even all these uh, primary and secondary school that the government will tell you they are free schools they still have a little 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 things that they, they, they still contribute well mr lege is not far from the truth it is not compulsory they should attend there they have to why would they not attend there so what is not the end uh, the, uh, the essence they must attend there why would they not attend the school so what is that what is not the gain when the bible said that they should be meeting in my house so if you want to get help where do you get help they can always attend other universities in the land other universities in the lands that are expensive so what is not the essence of a uh this whole thing hmm? Hmm? but some people don't know what they are doing some people are so religious that they, they are so fanatical they cannot even reason you have to balance this whole thing yes they, they anybody going to this school must pay but it shouldn't be as expensive as a uh, private schools or, or, or individual schools well this clergyman hates to hear the truth next thing his followers would say you are challenging man of god why can why, why can man of god not be challenged who is man of god even god himself will they challenge god you will they listen to me have you have you not in one way or the other you are challenging god you are not you are at, when you when, when you even commit sin you are you are challenging god because you know that you are not supposed to do that you are not supposed to there are principles even whether you are a uh, a christian or you are a muslim or you don't even believe in god but you, there's something that they call more that you don't want to hurt other person you don't want to hurt her if you don't even know god but you know that there's something that they call moral code you don't want to hurt your fellow uh brother or sister but not to talk of a you are a muslim or you are a christian you know that there's some things that you are not supposed to do that are sinful but you still do it are you not insulting god you will still go back so oh god please forgive me even some of you majority of us will say oh but god why why would god do this kind of a thing this and that we get angry at god most times especially when we then when we want when we want something and it's not forthcoming you begin to question god so why are these, these people will not be questioned i don't understand you will be questioned so 
that is that so that is just uh, my own opinion you, everything must be balanced yeah we must balance everything you can't say eh don't talk you don't why somebody say eh, they should not go there they should go to other places somebody cannot afford your own denomination school so is it another place you want to afford eh, you can you will be able to afford no 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 so guys let's know what you think in the comment section